Most people think that we need oxygen for breathing. That's why they're so stupid. People need oxygen because they need energy. People inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. The blood delivers oxygen from the respiratory system and carries glucose from the digestive system to me for respiration. Come on an adventure with me of how I travel through humans' body. My job is to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body. However, I travel with my other buddies too. One of my buddies that travels with me is white blood cell. White blood cell and I are produced by a bone marrow. White blood cell eats diseases to cure sicknesses. My other body platelet prevents blood from leaking out of injuries. Together we travel throughout the body. I have entered the heart now from the upper part of the body by the inferior vena cava. It is the major blood vessel that carries blood to the heart. I am at the right atrium now, the chamber which receives oxygen poor blood from the body carrying my carbon dioxide. Even though I am here, I have to wait for it to fill up or else the valve will not open. The valve prevents the blood from flowing backwards. By the way, I think the heart is pumping well, thanks to the pacemaker. It sends out signals to control the beat of the heart. Yay, the valve opened, which got me to the right ventricle, which pumps oxygen poor blood to the lung. Now all I have to do is to continue moving. Hmm, why is it so thick in here? Oh, I think I'm in the pulmonary artery. It is the only artery that carries blood to the lungs. All arteries are thick because they carry blood away from the heart. I see the lungs, I see the lungs. I'm in the arteries. I need to get to the alveoli as soon as possible. Are these grapes or alveoli? Anyways, I see the capillaries and I'm there now. Wait, what? Where did my carbon dioxide go? Ooh, oxygen. When did you come? Now I need to bring my oxygen back to the heart. You turn time. Faint, take me a ride back home. This time, I need to enter the heart by the pulmonary vein, which brings back the blood back from the lungs. Whoa, compared to the artery, it's so thin in here. That's because veins bring blood back to the heart. Already, I'm back in the left atrium now, where oxygen-rich blood enters the heart from the lungs. I'm waiting for it to fill up because the valve won't let me in again. Halfway through. Do you wonder how the rich and poor blood are separated? There is a flap of tissue called the septum between them. The septum is, th is thicker in the left ventricle because it needs to pump blood throughout the whole body. Arrival at the aorta. Aorta is the largest vein that pumps blood to the body. I'm taking the arteries to the capillaries. They don't seem too far away. Diffusion is happening now. That's when the molecules move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. Again, my oxygen has changed to carbon dioxide. Now I need to ride the veins back to the heart by the inferior vena cava again, the location I started on. And this process goes on and on. So I guess that this is the end of my trip around the human body. I hate to say this, but. Goodbye. I, I hope, hope you learned, learned a lot and enjoyed my trip.